So I've made a few updates to the CNC router since I cut my first parts. Uh, a few things needed upgraded, so here's what I did. First thing I did, as you can see, I peppered the bed with all these mounting holes for securing down these clamps to hold the material down. That was really needed. I was struggling with double face tape and all kinds of other crap, but this works a lot better. The holes all have uh, quarter 20 T-nuts coming in from the bottom of the bed to hold the clamps, and that seems to work pretty well. Next thing I did was added the uh, automatic Z touch-off plates here. You see I have the floating plate right here and the fixed plate over here. And that's come in real handy for setting uh, Z heights on the, on the tools, especially when there's a lot of tool changes in the program. It's uh, quite convenient. And the other part I added was uh, dust collection. So I came up with this dust collection rig that goes on, and uh, I'll show you how that rigs up. So to see the, the tool height adjustment in action, you just set that floating plate on your part. Go ahead and tell Mach 3 that you're doing a, a Z height reference move. It'll get down, find that floating plate, set your work offset. It'll move over to the reference plate, get down, touch off, so it knows where your work offset is in relation to the reference plate. And then move back to where you started and it's ready to go. Very handy. Lots of good videos on how to get that all set up. So the other part I added was the dust collection. It's just two plywood plates put together with a, a bellows made out of vinyl between them and a clamping hole for the router and a brush off a shop vac for collecting dust on the bottom side. It just slips up over the router, gets clamped on. You can use this to set for different heights of of the router bit you have in place. Get that secured. Plug in your vacuum source and that's ready to go. So that's what I'm up to till this point. Thanks for watching.